All right, guys, uh, this is just going to be a short little video. Another project I'm toying around with for the channel. So this is Silent Hunter Wolves of the Pacific. And I'm toying with the idea of doing this when I get it on the big screen. Right now I've only got it on the laptop. So the picture quality, obviously, not great. But hopefully it'll get better. So... Right now we're trucking along. We're going to use some time compression here. Alright, so we're in time compression. Hopefully we get to our destination a little quicker. So right now we are in the Asiatic Fleet, 1941. And we are on the SS-37, a Holland-class S-boat, which is basically the beginning of World War II. This is directly after Pearl Harbor. It's December 9th, currently. So, let's see if we can come upon something here. Maybe find us some targets to shoot at. So when I do the actual series, rather than just little short vids, I will include some interesting history on the uh, on the different submarines and events in World War II. But like I said, this is just going to be a short here. We're going to try and find some targets to shoot at to get for you guys. So basically this game is a submarine simulator. You're operating diesel electric submarines. Actually, you know what? Let's drop the time compression for a minute. I'm going to do some interesting maneuvers here. Now that I'm in deep water. So let's crash dive here. So here we are inside the submarine. I'll give you guys a quick peek around. Here. That's the Christmas tree. When it all goes green, that means we're rigged to dive. Here you've got engine order telegraph, helmsman over there. That's our sonar guy. And you got our radar guy. I don't know why he's even there this early in the war. We don't have a radar. And you've got your officer of the deck. Um, these guys are controlling the dives plane here. So. We're down at 120 feet now. 125. Let's see if we can take her deeper. I want to say the crush depth for this particular boat is about 250 foot. So we're going to go down to 200. And then we're going to blow ballast. Kind of test our cruise abilities here. thermal layer now so we'll maintain 180 for a minute now. all right back to dive let's go get the depth under the keel I'm still kind of close to the islands here. 
I got over a thousand feet of depth as you can see Five feet. And it's not letting us go any deeper, so we're gonna go ahead and blow ballast. Oh wait, there it goes. Okay. 196. So we'll hold off here for a second. See if we get down to 200 feet. Seven. Hundred ninety-eight. Two more feet, and then we'll blow ballast. Now, what I just referred to, crush depth means the basically the deepest depth you can go before hitting external pressure on the submarine's hull that will cause it to effectively crush like a beer can under your foot when it's empty. I wish I could figure out how to get this laptop to record what's on screen. I haven't quite figured that out yet. If I figure that out, I'll definitely do some vid straight from the screen rather than with my phone. We seem to be stuck at 198, can't get any deeper. So let's go ahead and blow ballast. Okay, this boat is rather outdated already. So these maneuvers I'm doing are not exactly ideal due to the fact that, well, they're ancient, they're in pretty poor condition. From the picture quality you can't really tell, but there's some rust, there's some stains. The boat is not pretty by any means. So we're going to get back up to the surface. Once we get back on the surface, we will use some time compression. Here we've got our aft deck gun. This is a, at least I believe this is aft. Oh, no, this is a forward deck, forward deck gun. Okay, cool. We do not have an AA gun. So if we see any aircraft, we definitely need to get under the water. But while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to high explosive shells. So we have a hundred of those. So let's check out our crew complement and show you guys where I've got all our crew here. So I've got a full crew complement in the engine room, the control room, sensor station, torpedo watch, and on the deck gun. I do not have a full damage control team, and a lot of the guys I pulled off the deck watch to put a full crew complement in other positions so that those areas are more efficient. The reason for doing that is, quite simply, I prefer to do the deck watch myself. I don't need guys standing up there telling me, you know, what's coming, what what's been sighted because well I can go up there and see that myself and it also it automatically pops up on the messages up top there anyway so 
I don't need guys standing idly up there doing nothing when I could have them being, you know, useful and doing something. So we're going to go back to here. And we're going to use some time compression. And we'll wait and see if we get any contacts here that we can go have a shot at. In the meantime, let's go check what torpedoes we're working with here while I'm using time compression so we're not just sitting idly watching a blank screen. So we are using Mark 10 torpedoes. Highly outdated. They, they uh, have a habit of running deep and they don't always detonate. Now fortunately for me this game allows t auto targeting because sometimes they go wide, sometimes they do all kinds of craziness but I've got mine set up so that we don't have any duds we don't have have to do manual targeting because I'm not gonna lie I suck at manual targeting there are guys I've seen do it online who they're really good at it they can put in all those calculations and whatnot but I'm I'm not so great at it so while I'm still learning this game I'm going to do it via auto target where basically I point my scope at it and shoot so here we have our periscope and that little indicator right there shows that we have four torpedo tubes on the forward no on aft on this boat now if you know anything about submarines, you know World War II submarines typically did have aft torpedoes. So let's see if I can find that. But up here, as you can tell, the rudder setup does not allow for aft torpedo tubes, which is why we only have forward. And the fact that we have a forward deck gun on an S-boat I am absolutely positively blown away on. Normally I only get aft deck guns. So hopefully that's due to the updates I downloaded a couple weeks ago. And this is our map here. I'll zoom out. So the little yellow star is where we're deploying to. And up here, right next to Manila, is our submarine. So basically, you use the buttons down below to one to plot your course, one to return to course. Then you've got one search pattern. It automatically amends a set of waypoints in a search pattern so that you kind of randomly guide around. And then you've got your time to end course. Our current time to end course is 58 hours. So it could be a while. And uh, let's get back up on the deck here and put in time compression again because while I was switching all that around, it kind of took my time compression off. And we'll see if we come up with anything before I end this vid. Hopefully I'll come up with something because... I know if I don't come across something to shoot at, then this is going to be a pretty boring video, but such is the escapades of this game. Sometimes you get a whole lot of stuff to shoot at, other times you get next to nothing. Which is kind of a reality of World War II submarines. They, you know, sometimes they'd get dispatched to an area and they'd patrol that area for weeks and nothing. Other times they'd get dispatched to an area and suddenly they'd hit the mother load. And the, you can adjust the realistic traits of this game to enable like the how real it is to real life. Such as the dead torpedoes, manual targeting, and all kinds of different stuff. So 
if you're one who likes really intricate games, this is definitely a game to check out. It is an older game, but it's still very, very popular. I don't know why there aren't more people doing it on YouTube, as like I said, it's intricate. It's it's not something that you can just jump in and be like, oh, yeah, I got this. It takes some learning. But compared to other games that I've been playing for years where I can literally just run through the game on autopilot, it's kind of nice to have something that's a little bit of a challenge now and again. I've been playing this game a lot lately, trying to get better to put it on YouTube, but... I've gotten better in the quick missions, but as far as the campaign, it's a hit and miss with the campaign, because the realisticness of it is sometimes there's going to be stuff there to shoot at, other times you're just going to put around and wait for next to nothing to happen. So I'm hoping this time we will come across something. Let's go check our map here, see where we're at. We're still haven't even made it into the first turn, so. And there it goes, taking it off again. So, here we'll watch the compass so I don't have to watch the screen and the camera. See when we turn. So, this, while we're doing this, I'll explain what everything is here. This here in the corner, right there, that is your speed. Then next to it, you have your compass that tells you which direction you're going, and then your depth gauge. And this is different menus, it'll give you your objectives, and then the little one that has the ship's wheel on it, that will give you the ability, you'll have your captain's ability, you'll be able to read your radio messages, and also send contact reports and status reports out. And then down here, and what the heck just ha oh, it's getting nighttime, so sorry guys, my camera's gonna spaz out, because the screen's getting dark for nighttime. So down here you have this takes you to the bridge, which is where we are now. This will take you to the TBT. So, that's the TBT. It's basically binoculars. Go back to there. Put the time compression back on. And then you've got your recognition manual. When you're looking through the TBT or the periscope, you can bring that up to... Uh, specify which ship it is for your torpedo data control your chronometer that tells you the time and if you select a target oh so that's how you do that okay I've never figured out how to do that before this is a new one on me so you can use this button here when you're in combat to set a target that you're aimed at as the target for the deck gun or a gun and then this is to rescue survivors, which I haven't used yet either. Say you're in one of the quick one of the quick missions, your goal is to rescue survivors during a big carrier battle, the very first big carrier battle of World War II, I forget the name of it, but anywho, yeah, you can rescue survivors, so kind of a cool feature there. And that would explain why in the one quick mission I've been trying to conquer, you can't just pull up to them, you have to actually hit that button. So, that's, that explains that. Obviously my camera's quality is complete shit guys and I apologize for that, but this is like I said this is just a little intro video When I get my adapter I'm gonna try to get that next week as well as parts for the base So I can start really getting on cranking out regular footage so I know I've been lacking 
I had lots of plans for this summer, but things just didn't work out. I was lazy, things came up, it was a thing. But hopefully next summer we'll get some more outdoor stuff done. I'll, I'll get some footage out on the kayak. And if falls nice to us, I may yet get some footage on the kayak, maybe. I don't know. We just have to see what happens. But for winter, my projects will be the base and Silent Hunter, maybe some more Halo and Gears of War possibly. Might do some more cooking stuff. And then I also have another exciting project that I've been pitched with helping. A friend of mine and his buddies recently bought a cab over semi, which as you guys know, I have been looking for a cab over of my own to restore in honor of my brother who passed away. And I have yet to find mine for the right price, but they recently bought it to use as transport for their band. So they've asked me about helping work on it and said it was cool if I put it up on YouTube working on it so uh, as soon as I hear from them I'll give you guys an update and let you know as soon as we figure out when we're gonna do work on it they found a space to work on it so uh, I'm pretty excited for that it's a Freightliner and the engine in it is actually the model I learned to rebuild in college so hopefully my specs are still up to par and my knowledge as well because it's been a minute and so far I'm not coming up on anything now guys I don't know if we're gonna get anything or not this round I don't know we'll see Hey, boo -boo. Could you grab me a Mountain Dew? Sorry. Oh, coffee. Yeah, make me some coffee, would you? That sounds good. My wonderful wifey Pooh making me coffee. God, at night the quality really is grainy. Ah, I caramba. Definitely gonna have to get this on the big screen so we can get some better footage. Because I think the TV screen will be better. Some of you guys might be wondering what the line across the screen is that's been constantly there. Well, I bought this laptop used and apparently the back wasn't so sturdy so in shipping it got a little bit of screen damage but I ain't worried about it. I bought it on Facebook Marketplace didn't bother with the shipping insurance, so I ain't worried about it. It doesn't affect my ability to play the game, so, you know, it is what it is. And the only reason I ordered a used rather than buy a new was because new laptops do not have a disc tray, and this game is essentially hard disc all the way around. Can't get... I suppose you'd probably get downloads, I'm just not that smart to know how or where to find it. Okay. Oh. Alright, well for now, I'm going to let this run up to 25. If I don't come across anything, I'm going to cut off. And then I will bring you guys back when I come up with something to shoot at. Because holding this and trying to do that is not working out the greatest. My hands are starting to get a little numb. So I will run it out to 25 minutes and then bring it back when I find something to shoot at. And I will give you guys some schooling on torpedo shots.
All right, we're gonna call it here.